Hey guys, it's Michelle here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is another tutorial video and this is a very, very, very demanded one because a lot of you guys have been asking that you have been uploading tutorials on how to make headers, thumbnails. Why not do a tutorial on profile pictures because there are um there aren't you know a lot of tutorials out there um regarding this topic profile picture so i'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can make a grunge fortnite profile picture as you guys can see on the screen right now um some of you may call it a logo or um, an avi um it can be anything an avatar but i i usually call it a profile picture so i'm going to be teaching you exactly how to do this it's going to be super super simple um and uh, if you have watched any you know tutorials of mine previously it would be even uh more easier because once you know how to you know um execute stuff you know how to you know what the tools are for you know the basic stuff in photoshop and you know you if if you can make twitter headers youtube banners then profile pictures are not going to be you know any sort of trouble for any of you so yeah let's just drop into it so whenever I'm making a profile picture, the first thing I do is obviously um, the width and the height that I keep is 900 into 900. The width, it's going to be 900 as well as the height. Now the orientation of this is going to be portrait mode um, and the resolution as always at 300. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you can um, put the you know, background to transparent, uh, that's what I usually do. But it's completely up to you and uh, it's just, you know, term of preferences. Once you're, you're done with that, you basically create a brand new file. Now I've got one over here, a 900 900. It can be anything, but you have to keep the aspect ratio, one ratio, one. Like it can be 900, 900, 1000, 1000, um, like up to, you know, whatever um, scale you want to go. But 900 into 900 is the ideal one in my personal opinion and uh, from what I have seen. So once you're done with this, you are basically going to be doing the same things that we usually do in headers, but just on a smaller scale, you would say, a smaller kind of size. Um, the first thing I usually do is I go in and create a new layer above the first one, and I just go into the paint bucket and choose a dark black, you know, dark gray color. It's not completely black, it's a bit dark gray and i just you know pick this color and uh, put it in the layer and you can basically it's completely up to you the theme of my profile picture right now is going to be black and reddish so that is why i'm going to be you know ha having the primary background as a dark gray blackish background if you're going for a lighter color you can go with white or um, any other color that you are going for but my primary background color is going to be black um, the next thing that I am going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing in a character render. Now you can do it for yourself, you know, you can make a custom render by yourself or you can, you know, download some from, you know, the internet. Um, but yeah, the render I will be using for this particular um, header, the header point. The render that I will be particularly using for this profile picture is going to be a Chaos Agent render. Uh, let me just bring it in all right so i have the render in the canvas and you guys can see it's a chaos agent and um now you can see that there is red vibes going into the you know um render so black and red theme will go really good um so that's exactly what we are going to be doing so this is going to be a grunge profile picture tutorial it's not going to be something like um you know 3d or something like it's a it's a grunge you know thingy so what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to be putting in some brunch effects and as you know um you're going to be using some stock pictures stock effects you know you can find them on google um you know any search engine you use you know you can just search it up pinterest maybe or um what i use is a graphics mac known as Asper pack it's it's got a lot of assets and it's free to download and if you would uh like to use it you can definitely definitely download it i would you know link the download in the description so you can check it out for yourself it's a really good um gfx pack so let's just open it real quick all right we have the pack open and i'm gonna, just going to go into the crunch textures and sets and overlays and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to open up 
textures pack and I'm gonna take this texture uh, we use this one in our branch header tutorial as well and if you haven't seen it already go and check it out I'm just gonna go and drag it in over here and as you guys can see it's giving a very nice look uh, I'm gonna be resizing the blender by a bit just like this not nothing much just a little bit resizing and voila we are good to go um, i'm going to decrease the filter around 85 percent on this texture so that you know um yeah just to you know decrease the overall intensity of the overlay um the next thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be going into the texture pack the, like, the pack of all the things once again and I'm this time I'm gonna go into overlays and in the overlay section what I'm gonna do is I am gonna be picking this layer it's like the basic thing of grunge uh, GFX designing is that you have to experiment as much as you can and as much as you can by by that I mean like as much as you can so just go in there and experiment as much as you can um, I'm gonna put it over the you know character as well so the next thing that we're going to be doing um is going to be putting in text the text um is the main part of the profile picture obviously so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put in the text and let me just type in shail that's my name and um, i'm gonna pick phone i'm just gonna keep it like super simple aerial phone uh, that's just bold and like you guys would be like what you're using aerial phone shell like are you are you in your senses fam but yeah like uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you what i'm trying to do uh, once you've got the text in here it's 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 looking really minimalistic and um very clean um but what what, what we are going to be doing is i'm going to duplicate the text once and the second layer i'm going to be making a second duplicate layer of the text um, on the top and it's going to be named shell copy or whatever your name is with copy just rename it if you want i'm going to be renaming it later on um, but for now it's going to be shell copy it's going to be on the top you can either put this on the top or this on the top but the top one is going to be on the top one then select the layer that is on the top and you know um what you're going to do is you are going to keep the layer selected and at the same time the beneath layer, the layer beneath the top one, you're gonna slightly drag it, you know, a bit, you know, in the downward direction. You're gonna reposition it. And once you have done with that, you're gonna change the text color. Let's say my theme is red and black, so I'm gonna put it red, right? Just like that. Now, what this is going to be for, I'm gonna be showing you guys in a bit um, in, like, you can increase the size by a bit as well like this and like just like that now the top layer we're gonna go into blending option we'll put in some texture uh, textures into the you know whole thing some layer styles so that you know it looks clean and stuff and let me just do some stuff you can you can, you can either experiment um, different stuff or you can just basically copy paste whatever I am doing right now now then I'm gonna also put in an outer glow or red outer glow matching the whole thing brush that all though is looking very harsh all right we're done with this next thing that why did we do that thing in the background I'm gonna select that rasterize the type go into filter and liquify and when I'm going to liquify, I'm going to basically drag and as if it's melting, you know, it's, it's going to have a little melting effect. Just going to make it look very, you know, unique and interesting. Just like that. So basically it has this melting effect going on. Now I'm going to put in some layer effects on it as well. Just the, slight, the slightest of the shadow, a little bit of the stroke. 
in a shadow and inner glow as I like to do an outer glow if you want to and the gradient overlay and just like that you have your text ready now this text looks really good it can be done in different multiple ways it's completely up to you um, some people like to do it like with the white text included um you know i did it in one of my headers and it does look very good but it's completely up to the person the next thing you basically do is now it's pretty much um up to you you can either put in some extra details um like i'm going to be doing um for example for example i'm going to go and create a new layer above the blender uh, make a clipping mask and go into the brush red color I'm going to choose the brush size and I put the hardness to zero. I'm going to put this over here and kind of dodge. So basically, it's going to be feeling like this uh, sort of glow coming out of his um, eyes. Um, I'm going to be doing the same with his tires, really, you know, a little bit of glow from his tires, from his. Uh, napkin or sort of no, I don't know if that's napkin or whatever that is, a handkerchief or whatever. Um, a little bit of red coming out here as well. A new layer, get the mask, the dodge. So I'm just basically making the red parts glow a little bit, uh, you know, to stand out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you guys can, um, Put in some more um, branch effects and texture effects as you prefer. Um, now, where is that text effect? I'd say that's my personal favorite. This one, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm slightly repositioning it right here. I'm gonna go and put a gradient map over it. Reverse, something like this. I'm gonna make it. Flip mask, and, um, and as you guys can see, slightly gonna erase it. So I don't want it to be, you know, too bright. So basically, this is how you guys can create a really uh, interesting looking file picture, brunch, Twitter, or YouTube, or you know, profile pictures are something that you guys can use on any social media platform. And uh, basically, even if you want to, you know, um, you do some stuff for Instagram, one way you want things up there, so you guys can do something like this. Um, without the text, you can use it, but with the text, it's completely up to you. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it now. The, you know, the things that are left are some color corrections that you guys can do um, i'm going to show you some in a minute you can go into the camera roll filter and you know um you can either you know do it custom or you can just go into the presets and choose some really good looking presets um, let's say i'm going to choose the vivid um you know color one then i'm going to go into the curves and i'm going to basically lift some shadows or maybe Bit of flat, but lift some shadows, put in some grain effect, some optics, some sharpening here, and there a little bit of vignette effect. And yeah, it's basically going to be completely different. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you guys can create a really um, interesting, nice looking profile picture um, in a very, very, very short period of time. And it's super easy as well. Um, so yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful for you in one way or another. And I really, 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 really uh, thank you all for all the support I have been getting lately. Um, it has just been absolutely insane. Thank you so freaking much. And yeah, that is going to be pretty much it. Um, I hope you have a good day, good night, whatever you're having according to the time zones you're living in. And I'll see you all next time. Till then, it's a wrap. Peace out.